OK, actors, a couple of vocabulary words before we get up on our feet and do some acting. I want to remind us of some of the words that we've talked about already. Who's being the audience right now? Uh, Who's being the audience? Us. You are. And wh how does a good audience behave? What does a good audience do? <laughs> they do be quiet. What, raise your hand. What do they do? What does a good audience do? What does an audience member do with their hands? Where should your hands be? Yeah. Good. What, yes, what else? What does that mean specifically? What should your mouth be doing? Should your mouth be moving? No. Should it be quiet? Yeah. Where should your eyes be looking? Where should your eyes, where at? At, at the event, right? At what's happening, right? Hands in your lap, eyes are watching. What are you doing with your ears? <laughs> William, what's a good audience do with their ears? You listen, very good, okay? The actor, remember we said actor and character? Actor is the human being, character is the part that he or she plays. So if we were gonna do the story today of Three Billy Goats Gruff, which we're gonna act out, you, miss, are going to be the actor. You might play the part of the baby Billy Goat. Sir, you are the actor, you're the human being. You might play the character of the troll, ah, right? You, sir, are going to be the actor. You're the human being. You may play the character of the big billy goat. The actor is the human being. The character is the part they play. Remember these two words that we learned a couple weeks ago? What's this word? And gesture. Po do you remember the definition? Posture is what? Who remembers what posture is? No, posture is how you stand, and gesture is how you, how you move, right? So remember, if I'm a robot, here's my posture, and here's my gesture, right? Posture is how you stand, gesture is how you move. These two combine to create what? Body language, right? Posture and gesture combine to make body language, and all of that creates your character, right? That's your character. What was the word we learned last week? What was the word we learned last week? Pantomime. What was it? Pantomime. pantomime, right? Pantomime, does anybody remember the definition of pantomime? Do you have an idea? It's a big word for us. <laughs> Can you give me a, um, can you show me an example of pantomime? Remember last week we did What Are You Doing? Remember we played What Are You Doing last week and you came up and you were on the... Pretending you were kicking the soccer ball. That's right, pretending you were kicking the soccer ball. Did we use any words? No, we didn't. We didn't speak. Was our body, were our bodies frozen or did they move? They moved. So the pantomime is a silent movement that tells the audience a story. What's my pantomime telling you right now? Baseball. Baseball. I, I'm showing you the story of playing baseball. What's my pantomime telling you right now? Watch. <coughs> Piano. Piano, right? Did I use my voice? No, I was silent. Was I frozen or moving? Okay. Moving. moving. Silent moving picture is a pantomime. Today we're going to learn tableau. Say these letters with me. T B L E A U. It's two syllables, actors. Tableau. Can you clap that out with me? Tableau. Again. Tableau. One more time. Tableau. Tableau, right? This is what it sounds like. Ta blow. This is the spelling, but this is the sound. Blow, like when you go, that's the sound. Tableau. Can you say that? Tableau. Again. Tableau. Who can say it for me on their own? Who can say it on their own? Uh, and all together you say tableau. Can you try that? Tableau. Pretty good. Now put it together. Tableau, right? Tableau. Who else can say it for me? Tableau. Yeah. Tableau. Good. Here is what a tableau is. 
A pantomime is silent. Is a silent moving picture. Tableau is a silent frozen picture. Pantomime is silent and moving. Tableau is silent and frozen. So let me give you an example. Can I have a baseball player up here? I need a volunteer to be my baseball player, okay? Come right here, sir. Can you get ready to swing the ball or to swing your bat? Okay, and freeze. Who would be throwing him the ball? What's it called, miss? Throw. Not a thrower, a pitcher. Pitcher. Can you come up and be my pitcher? Okay. Okay, turn and face him. All right, get ready to throw it and freeze. Who stands behind the batter? Yep. Good, the catcher. Can you come up and be my catcher? Okay. How are you going to show the audience with your posture that you're the catcher? Crouch down, bend your knees, right? Put your glove up here. Put your glove up here. All right, like that. Okay. And who's going to be way out here? Who's going to be way out here, sir? What do we call? And, uh, the outfielder, right? Can you come be my outfielder? So scoot up here a little bit, miss. Okay. Can you come out here? And can you get ready to catch the ball? Okay. Everybody get in their postures. One, two, three, freeze. Actors or audience, this is a tableau. It's a frozen picture. You're not giggling, I'll get another actor, right? This is a frozen picture that tells the audience a story. What's about to happen in this story? What's about to happen in this story? Has she thrown the ball yet? No, right? Get ready to bat, sir. Show me your face. Show me with your expression. Good, right? Get ready to throw. Okay. And freeze. Sir, how do you stand in the outfield? You don't lean on the table. There's no tables in the outfield. Put your gloves up. Get ready. Show me you're serious. Okay. And freeze. This is a tableau, audience. Is there any movement? Is anybody moving? No. Is this a pantomime? Are they moving up here? No. Pantomime is moving. Tableau is frozen. If they're frozen, they're in a tableau. Okay. Let's turn it into a pantomime. Ready? That means you're going to get ready to throw, you're going to bat, and you're going to catch. Ready? And action. Throw. And catch it. Yeah, good. Let's try it again. Get in your tableau. Get in your tableau. Freeze. And we're going to go to the pantomime. Action. Throw it. Swing. Catch it. Yeah, good. Audience, give them a clap. Okay, give them a clap. Actors, take your bow. One. Two, three, good. So Mrs. B, right? Pantomime and tableau. Pantomime is silent moving, tableau is silent frozen. Last week we learned uh, pantomime, right? And we added that to the three billy goats. We were telling the story of three billy goats, which we're gonna move into now, right? And the idea is that you can use tableau and pantomime uh, in a literacy lesson, right? Say you're reading uh, Three Little Pigs, right? You can use pantomime. Who could pantomime the wolf blowing down the house, right? <gasps> Right? And then you could also create tableaus. Right? You get to the end of the chapter and you say, what, what happened in this chapter? Right? Who could summarize what happened in the chapter? Right? Uh, the, the wolf blew down the straw house. Can we create a frozen tableau? Who could be my wolf? Stand up wolf. Who could be, right? Who could be my straw house? So you have two actors make the straw house, one actor be the wolf, right? and then freeze. Right? So you can go from movement into frozen. You can start with pantomime and then freeze in a tableau. We're doing it the opposite today. We're starting with tableau and going into pantomime.